Hello! Today we're going to be talking about introducing ferrets to each other. So recently I've had a lot, a lot of questions from people asking me how they should introduce their new ferrets to the ferrets that they already have at home. Um, so I thought I might as well make a video about it. <laughs> Polecats, the closest wild relatives to the common domesticated ferret, are actually uh, solitary animals by nature. And it, ha and it has been said that domesticated ferrets come from the wild polecat or a cross between uh, the European polecat and the steep polecat or something like that. I can't really remember. The ferrets, our ferrets, have been bred and domesticated throughout the many thousands of years and they have been bred so that they do retain more kit-like qualities and they are a lot more uh, social than the polecats. However, some ferrets do retain the solitary nature of the polecat and not all of them will get along. Most ferrets are social and once they spend a lot of time with each other they will develop a very close bond with each other and that's why a lot of ferrets when their partner or friend dies get um, depressed and stop eating and stop playing and things like that. Some ferrets no matter what you do will simply not get along with another ferret. And I know a ferret like that. It's really funny because she actually, she, she hates other ferrets and will scream and poop and poof and she will just, she hates other ferrets but she gets along with a dog and a cat. <laughs> so some ferrets are a little bit funny. <laughs> I guess like people, we're all different. <laughs> so it is important to realize that not all ferrets will get along. So sometimes it's not even worth forcing it because it puts them through so much stress. And it stresses you out as well. Seeing the poor buggers having to go through all that trauma, go through a horrible traumatic experience like that. If you are planning on getting two ferrets, then sometimes it's worth thinking ahead and getting two ferrets from the very beginning from the same litter because you know that at least they will get along. Or if you go to a shelter getting two ferrets that get along, the, shel the people who work in the shelter or the rescue will be able to tell you which ferrets do get along. Some ferret shelters, and I think most ferret shelters should do this, will never separate ferrets that have lived together previously because they obviously have that bond. And so they'll find them owners who, have, who are willing to take both of the ferrets on so that they do not get separated and do not go through too much stress. I'm a shilly kitty. I hate ferrets. Fairy cuddle. Oh. Yay. Mm. Oh, hello. What? Whoa. <laughs> la la. <sighs> Nothing better than trying to, than getting all the ferrets in your arms at once. Hello. Oh, I love you too. Apart from Binksy because she's sleeping. What? Uh, 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 uh. But when they scatter, that's when it becomes a problem. Okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you can run around now. <laughs> Ew, someone poofed on me. So if you get two ferrets together, then at least you'll know that they will get along and you won't have to go through the hassle of trying to introduce them and not knowing if they'll get along. However, you already have a ferret or have ferrets and want to add new addition, which happens fairly frequently, I must add, ferret math always strikes. Then here are a few things that you can do. Make sure that your ferrets are de-sexed. If your ferrets are a little bit older, from six months to you to a year old, six months for the females and then a year old for the males, then um, make sure that they're de-sexed because if they start coming into heat, then they can tend to get more aggressive, especially the males. And so they can be not only aggressive with you, but also with other ferrets. However, female ferrets, we all know, need to be de-sexed uh, probably around six months of age or have the implant or whatever it is that you choose to do with your ferret um, after you discuss the options with your experienced ferret vet. But something needs to be done before six months or when the female ferret comes into heat because otherwise she can die from aplastic anemia. I'm getting distracted by ferrets. Bear says hi. Hi. Yuki. No. Yuki! No! Stop! Stop being a rug muncher! Yuki! Hey, what are you doing? Are you tackling me? 
Yuki! No! Good girl. Yuki! Yuki! I can imagine this is what it's like to have kids. You're constantly... Your focus is all over the place. Yuki! So when you first bring a ferret home, the most common thing that you can do is to put them in a neutral area, so like a playroom, um, which doesn't smell overly like the ferrets that you already have, like the cage, um, just so that they can introduce, so that you, you can introduce them to each other on in a neutral zone. You introduce them on neutral territory and see how they go. Now it's important to note that a lot of ferrets will have an initial squabble and this is just to determine their hierarchy, when one, f how one fits into the group and so a lot of the time it's 100% natural for them to have a little fight or the fight can go on a few times when they start to get to know each other and then after a while they start to get used to each other, get used to their smell. However, one thing to However, one thing. How? Yeah, you're, you're staying with me. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Sammy says hi. Hi. Yuki. You know you're being naughty. I can see it. You know it. I can see it. Hey. Okay, you're staying with me as well. <laughs> you. So. I guess the main thing to look out for when they are having their initial fight is that there is no blood, uh, they're not pooping themselves and that it's not getting too hectic. Um, if one ferret tends to run away from the other one a lot, obviously there'll be a little bit of that, but if, it, if you really think that um, it's kind of under too much stress, then probably take it away um, and then try again the next day. So normally after their initial fight, they tend to be okay. They just need to determine their hierarchy. However, for the ferrets that you can see that they're stressing out too much, then there are a few other things that you can do. You can keep them in separate cages that are right next to each other so that they can see each other and kind of interact with each other without being with each other if that makes sense. <laughs> Another thing that you can do is switch their blankets around so that they can sleep on the blankets and get used to each other's smell. Another thing that you can do to neutralize their smell is for them to have a forced bath time together. A lot of ferrets don't necessarily enjoy having baths. Um, some do, some love it. Um, but that's another way that you can put them in a common situation um, and that could help them bond and then afterwards let them play with each other while they're smelling a little bit more neutral. Before you put the new ferret in with the other ferrets, make sure that you clean the cage and change all the bedding so that the um, cage doesn't smell overly like the other ferrets and so that it's more of a neutral territory. I think that one of the most important things to keep in mind when introducing new ferrets is your own energy because if you're emit emitting an energy where you're feeling nervous and tense, the ferrets will sense that and they will feel like they should be nervous and tense as well. They def Any animal and ferrets as well do pick up on your own energy that was a ferret. <laughs> um, so any, any animal as well as ferrets do pick up on your energy and if you're feeling anxious, stressed and uh, about the whole situation then they will feel that as well. When introducing new ferrets I particularly have a she'll be right type of attitude. Oh they're fighting! They'll be right. Oh you're squabbling again. I'll get over it. Ah. Oh, get out of it! You'll be right. You'll be fine. Oh, maybe you won't be fine. <laughs> so, if it gets to a stage where you really think that you need to step in, then do. But, just calm yourself down. You're just introducing a new family member to another family member. And obviously to start with there might be a little bit of tension and they will need to figure out where they sit in the family um, in order to get along with each other further down the track. 
I hope today's video has helped you out and answered your question. Please let me know if you have any other comments to add or other questions in the comments section below. Um, and don't forget to subscribe to the Ferret World newsletter because anyone who subscribes get a, gets a free Ferret First Aid and Emergency Care ebook. And also don't forget to join us on Facebook on the Ferret World page, um, Twitter on the Ferret World page, and what else do we have? Oh, and Pinterest <laughs> on the Ferret World page as well. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. We have new videos every week. Thanks, guys. Have a wonderful week.